let's begin on the injury front with Ricky Pearsall. He will not practice this week, unfortunately, which means he will not suit up against the Las Vegas Raiders. So in turn, the 31st overall pick from April's 2024 NFL Draft will have not played a preseason snap as a rookie. That is not ideal news for San Francisco here, considering I think that they were going to be counting on him to be a part of this offense this upcoming season during his rookie campaign. So not a good start here for the rookie throughout training camp. He's dealt with the hamstring injury, started camp on the non-football injury list, was able to come back, didn't do much until he suffered a shoulder injury. And this is a complex offensive system that Kyle Shanahan is running. We know that Kyle Shanahan is very tight and runs a tight ship as far as rookies playing for him from the jump, whether it be on the offensive side of the football or the defensive side of the football, because he needs to know and make sure that those rookies are ready to go and they're not going to mess up, costing the team on any given play, any given down, any given game. And then when you think about the position that Ricky Pearsall plays, this Niners team is very deep at wide receiver. So is there going to be room for him to even get snaps as a rookie when he comes back knowing he didn't play in any preseason games and was barely able to practice and partake in a lot of these team drills of late? There's that obvious acclimation period to the National Football League, and Ricky Pearsall hasn't had that acclimation period. So you wonder now what his rookie year will look like. Will he contribute, or will this be a redshirt year? Now, from the macro standpoint, I'm sure some people are worried about Ricky Pearsall being brittle, him being injury prone. The good news is that Arizona State and then at Florida after he transferred, injuries weren't a great concern. In 2019, played 13 games, no starts as a freshman. In 2020, four games, pandemic shortened season, was not injured then. In 2021, 13 games, 11 starts. In 2022, 13 games, 10 starts. And then in 2023, 12 games, 12 starts. So he was not banged up at Arizona State or Florida. That's the good news. But the concerns from me in the pre-draft process, and I said this after the Niners drafted him as well, that stunner of a pick, 31st overall, when I thought there were bigger needs and better players left on the draft board, is that Pearsall is a little bit small. So I wasn't sure then, and I'm not sure now, how his body type is going to hold up and translate to the NFL level. And then there was a development from over the weekend, Sunday Night Football, at the wide receiver position with a fellow rookie alongside Ricky Pearsall. We haven't seen Pearsall. We saw Jacob Cowing, though. And he made his professional debut and did it with the bang. Made that really nice catch along the sideline, good awareness along the sideline to know where he was. Had to slow up a little bit on that football from Josh Dobbs. It was a very well-thrown ball, if you noticed. Josh Dobbs kind of had to pump fake, and then he let it rip downfield. And it was right here for Jacob Cowing, who got hit as he caught that ball. He was able to contribute as a returner and brought some pop to the return game. And I actually thought the most impressive play that Jacob Cowing was able to make was the end around where he beat the edge, who was right here, to the sideline, then turned it upfield, and he turned that from garbage into gold, a 19-yard pickup. Jacob Cowing looks as though he could be a legitimate weapon for head coach Kyle Shanahan this year and be used inside, outside, gadget player, and a dynamic weapon in the return game. Other players returning to practice this week, because Jacob Cowing returned to practice last week and put together a couple of really good practices, running back Isaac Garendo, we haven't seen him in a long time. He got injured, I believe, the first practice of training camp, another hamstring injury. He has had hamstring injuries all throughout his college career, Going back to high school, some concerns there. And he's a speedster, a trackster, who keeps being held back by some hamstring ailments. Running back Patrick Taylor has missed some time. Not sure why. His injury has never really been disclosed. Spencer Burford broke his hand. He went out of the lineup. 
Dominic Puni stepped in at right guard because of an injury also to John Feliciano. More on him coming up later here on the show. And Dominic Puni now is not going to relinquish that job. He's going to be this team starting right guard week one against the New York Jets. But it's good to get some depth back in Burford because Feliciano is going to be out a little while. And then Ben Barch returning to practice as well, a backup center and guard. Next, Talano Hufanga. Positive update on this front. He visited with his doctors last Thursday, and he got some good news from that visit. He will not return to practice this week, but Kyle Shanahan saying today on this Tuesday, August 20th of 2024, that there is a chance that Talano Hufanga returns week one against the New York Jets. And the safety position for San Francisco is certainly an interesting one. I think Jair Brown is due for a breakout year. George Odom traditionally has been a special teams player, but he has had a really good training camp as just a straight-up safety, making plays on the football, looking comfortable back there. Malik Mustafa, the rookie, fourth-round pick out of Wake Forest. He's physical. He's versatile. He has range. You can use him as a chess piece on that defense. I think he's a really intriguing player. So what are the Niners going to do week one at that safety spot? It's to be determined because of the health status of Talano Hufanga. And going back and circling back to John Feliciano, had to undergo surgery on his knee. The Niners did not release what type of knee injury he has been dealing with all throughout training camp. He will miss, though, about half the year. And Kyle Shanahan saying he probably starts the season on injured reserve. Before we continue to move forward and coming up next, another Brandon Ayuk update. Niners Raiders Friday night. I know it's the preseason, but San Francisco is expected to play their starters. And anytime the Niners and the Raiders, two Bay Area rivals who clash, when they do clash, it's always a lot of fun. And it's a rivalry inside the walls of Chat Sports. On yesterday's show, on the Niners Report, it's approaching 50,000 views. We picked up 142 new subscribers. The Raiders Report yesterday on Monday picked up 23 new subscribers. Hit that sub button right now. Let's beat the Raiders Report here at Chat Sports and on the field on Friday. Bang, bang, Niner gang. Always faithful to the Bay. The Raiders, never faithful to the Bay.